Okay, in the United States between 1850 and 1880, the number of farmers continued to increase, but at a rate lower than that of the general population. So we have 1850, we have 1880. We have the farmers and we have the general population of which the farmers are a part of. Now, the reason I'm setting this up is I want to put some numbers in here to help make this less abstract, but we're going to follow the rules here. And what it's saying is that we have a number of farmers and that number increases. So let's use a thousand arbitrary number, but it's easy to work with. And let's double that. So in 1880, we have twice as many farmers. Now we have the general population of which farmers are a part of. Let's make that 10,000. And let's say that 1880, it really explodes and we have 50,000, so five times as many. Now, what's happened here? Well, 1850, the farmers were what? They were one-tenth of the population, so they were 10%. What happens to this number in 1880? Well, now they're 2,000 out of 50, which is 4%. So you can see that in the general population, even though the farmers went up, their numbers actually went down as compared to the general population. Now, what's going on here? What's really the principle? Well, let's assume that instead of 50,000, let's just say these increased by the same amount. That is, the farmers doubled and the general population doubled. Let's say it's 20,000. So what do we have here? We now have 2,000 and 20,000, and you can see if that were the case, they'd both be 10%. However, the general population grows more than the farmers do in terms of rate. It has to more than double if the farmers double. So if we triple it or if we do anything to it larger than the amount or the number of farmers percentage-wise is going to go down because you can think of it in math-wise. Number of farmers is the numerator. General population is the denominator. It has to be greater than 20,000. So as soon as we go up to 20,001, just one more person, then this number becomes less than 10%. So we need to find an answer choice that goes against that, that shows that the rate of the proper or the percent of population that farmers make up, that number went down. So the farmers are making up less of the general population. If we look at answer choice E, it says the proportion of farmers in the general population increased from 68% to 72%. We know it had to decrease. Now, with our example, we use 10%, it had to be less than 10%. So whatever number we end, we end up using, when it goes from 1850 to 1880, the number of farmers has to represent less of the overall population. And only answer choice E does that. Now, B, C, and D, we can get rid of because they mentioned labor force. Notice that? Labor force. And they never mentioned anything about the labor force. So just like that, we can get rid of B, C, and D. And again, the answer is E.